Hello friends, welcome to a fresh new episode of our channel RG Innovations. If you have not subscribed already, please subscribe to our channel, click on the bell button and select all to get all future notifications of our video uploads. Today we are going to discuss about Metal Touch Sensor KY036. The KY036 Metal Touch Sensor module is an analog or digital sensor that uses a transistor to detect changes in electrical conductivity. When the metal open leg of the transistor is touched with a finger, the conductivity changes and the module emits a digital and analog signal. The functionality of the KY036 metal touch sensor module is divided into three main components. First, the sensor unit at the front of the module which measures the area physically and sends an analog signal to the second unit, the amplifier. The amplifier basically amplifies the signal and according to the resistance value of the potentiometer and sends the signal to the analog output of the module. Also you can set the sensitivity of the sensor by adjusting the knob of the potentiometer. The comparator that is the ICLM393 will switch the digital out and turn on the LED if the signal falls under a specific value. This module gives a high value in the analog output when there is no touch in the sensor. When it detects a touch, the analog value becomes low. But the digital output is normally low. When it detects a touch, it becomes high. Let us have a look at the module. This is the module. The main component of the module is this Darlington transistor which has an open leg which works as the touch sensor. This is the base of the transistor. The collector and emitter are soldered on board. This module has four output pins. The first one is the analog output pin. The second one is the ground or negative power supply. The third one is the positive power supply or VCC. And the fourth one is the digital output pin. It has two LEDs, one here and one here. This LED is the power on indicator. When the device is powered, this LED turns on. And this is the output LED. When it detects a touch, this LED turns on. This is the main comparator IC of the module. It converts the sensor input into the analog and digital output. And here is a potentiometer. It's a 100K potentiometer. This is used to adjust the sensitivity of the module. But in practical scenario, we have seen that this potentiometer hardly makes any change to the output sensitivity when it is turned clockwise or anticlockwise. This module works in 3.3 volt to 5.5 volt range. And this module is used in various applications. We will discuss some of the applications next. There are lots of applications of this particular module, but we will discuss here a few of them. It is used in touch activated switches to create touch activated switch for controlling lights, fans or other devices. Simply touching the sensor can turn a device on or off. It is also used in security systems or burglar alarm systems to detect unauthorized access or tampering with metal objects such as safes, doors or windows. It can also be used in electric saw control. Electric saw with a metal touch sensor will immediately stop when an accidental human touch is detected on its wheel and it will contract the wheel to save from accident. Human interface devices. It can be used in human interface devices where touch sensitivity is required such as touch lamp, touch sensitive panels or touch activated alarms. Interactive art installations. Artists can use KY036 to create interactive installations where touching a part of the artwork can trigger light, sounds or other effects. These are a few applications of this KY036 touch sensor. Now we will see the circuit diagram with an Arduino. This is the circuit diagram. We have shown the circuit diagram using an Arduino Uno. You can use any versions of Arduino or any other microcontroller available with you. But before that, please check the pin configuration of that microcontroller. So here we have connected the positive and negative power supply to the plus pin and the ground pin of the touch sensor. The analog output pin has been connected with the analog input zero pin of the Arduino and the digital out pin has been connected with the digital IO pin 2 of the Arduino. And we have connected one LED via a resistor in parallel with the built-in LED of the Arduino at pin number 13. So that when the built-in LED glows, this outer LED will also glow. The circuit diagram is very simple. We will also show the output in the breadboard. Now before we move on to the practical demonstration, let us see the Arduino sketch. Here is the Arduino sketch that we are going to use for this demonstration. This sketch will toggle the LED when the sensor is touched. Touched once, the LED will turn on. 
and touched second for the second time the led will turn off it will also display the analog value of the sensor into the serial monitor every section of this sketch is well commented but still i am explaining it in brief for you we have defined a few variables digital pin as pin number 2 analog pin pin number a0 led pin pin number 13 and a digital val which will store the digital reading and analog val which will store the analog reading now we have used a milis function for the analog reading delay if we use a delay statement in this sketch this sketch will not read the digital values properly so we are using the milis function interval analog is the interval between reading the analog value led state is the current state of the led and last digital state is the previous state of the digital input then in the setup section we have defined digital pin as input analog pin as input led pin as output we have started the serial communication and then turned off the built-in led then in the loop section we have stored the value of millis the milliseconds after the arduino has started then we have read the digital pin value and stored it into digital val if digital value is high and last digital state is low then we are toggling the led state that means if it is on we are turning it off and if it is off we are turning it on then setting the led state as on or off then in the serial monitor we are printing the analog value of the analog output of the module this portion of analog read is used to get the analog value when the sensor is touched and at the end of the code here is also we have read the analog value this section will read the analog value when the sensor is not touched so this is our sketch we will upload this into the arduino and we will see the practical demonstration hope you have understood the program if there is any confusion please ask me in the comments i'll explain now we will upload the arduino sketch so let's go to the computer screen our arduino is already connected with the computer so we are uploading the sketch and while the code uploads let's move on to the prototype this is the prototype we have built it is the ky036 metal touch sensor module we have connected it with an arduino nano here is the parallel led with the built-in led and this is the touch sensor of the module as the name suggests it's a metal touch sensor so first we will see if we touch any metal with this does it work or not so this is a screwdriver it has no contact with my body i am only touching it with the metal tip of the screwdriver so it is not working with only metal touch but if we touch it with our finger this led turns on you see i am touching it with my finger at one touch it is turning on at one touch this is turning off and when i am touching the open leg of the transistor this output led also is glowing if you notice it carefully since the environment light is high it may not be seen clearly but if you notice it you can see it now if i touch it with a metal tweezer now this is working fine if we connect the tweezer with this now will it work if i touch the tweezer yes it also is working during the description of the module we have said that this potentiometer is used to increase or decrease the sensitivity of this touch sensor but in practical experiments we have found that this potentiometer has hardly any use of sensitivity changing we have tested it to the minimum and we have tested it to the maximum we did not find any change in the sensitivity so this way we can convert any metal object to a touch sensor with this module now we will see the analog output of this module for that we are splitting the screen turning on the serial monitor it is showing the value when the sensor is not touched but when we touch it you see for one moment the value of the analog out will decrease you can see the moment i am touching at the point the value is decreasing we have separated the value from the list so that you can see it clearly so this is how this metal touch sensor is used i hope you have understood it clearly but still if you have any question or any query please ask me in the comments i'll definitely try to answer your question today up to this if you like my video please hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe my channel rg innovations your subscription will give me more inspiration to create new videos we will meet again in our next video till then bye bye take care have a nice time thank you for watching